I got my 24 volt Ames and burner up and uh, I use this one watt wire and uh, I had it running into this little breaker it's 150 amps and it's too small and the inverter didn't work and I had to call the technician from Ames up and see what the problem was but it was sounding some alarm and it wouldn't it wouldn't boot up like a computer it just it, it ran some tests and it decided it didn't have enough power to go and uh, there wasn't it wasn't able to draw enough power off the batteries to through this 150 amp uh, breaker so I'm not hooked up to that right now um, I need to buy a 300 amp fuse I just got it hooked to my battery right now this is temporary um, I don't think it, the, the, the inverter is going to go out anytime soon and blow up my batteries but uh, I am going to get a fuse link a 300 amp inline fuse to put on that and uh, this one out wire they suggest I have two of those so I need two red wires positive and two of these ground wires this one's 10 feet long but I bought it 10 feet long because I want to be able to expand my batteries this direction down this way but anyway um, I plan on having lots of batteries and I have four right now but of course I have to run two in a series so it, it goes from uh, positive to negative and then positive comes out and then uh, this set right here goes from positive to negative I don't know if you can see that and then there's a uh, positive here and it's running parallel with these other two batteries over here and then it it runs up that wire into my inverter and over here on this end we got a nice sunshiny day and I got a lot of bars there it says it's it's got close to 28 volts I don't know if you can see that or not but it they're just about full and uh, now that I'm running 24 volts uh, I run my panels in a series two of them at a time to make 24 volts and it cuts my amps in half so I can use smaller wire now I still have the same amount of wattage though that the battery still charged just as fast because there's st there's still each panel you know makes 90 watts and we hook two of them together you got 160 watts so you're making a 160 watt panel out of two uh, it, instead of having three and a half amps like they usually put out almost four amps each they they're cut back to about two amps but right now the batteries are almost full so and it's hazy it got hazy we're, we're having some great sunshine and I'll show you what it looks like outside and I got a temporary ground wire running out here to see it and I got these two I don't know what they are they they make uh, two amps I think they're 40 amp panels Right there, so that'd be 90 watts right there, and they're running in a series. So they're 24 volts together, and then I'm gonna make a new system over there for my bedroom. Add a mold inverter, 12 volt, and I'm gonna run the lights in that little bedroom right there. But then these two panels right here are hooked together in a series to make 24 volts and so they're both 90 watt panels so there's 160 watts and then these two panels are hooked together in a series to make 24 volts 
and then these two panels here are put together in a series to make 24 volts. Then I run them all parallel. I just I run these two these four together into this little box right here and they're running two of them parallel and then two parallel anyway they, it comes out of here with two wires once I get it I run them together I run two and two parallel and these two wires and then it comes out and goes Hey, like my junction right here takes really big wire ties but anyway that's my 24 volt system now and it's way more it's a lot better it uh it's a lot more efficient way more efficient than uh, 12 volt system it uses a lot less electricity the inverter does it. It's 90% efficient. Under a full load. So, well, I'm really happy with it. Thanks for watching.